Hey guys, it's Jamie here and I thought it might be fun to do a quick one day project using the Geisha kit that we've just released. Although obviously the structure of the project means that you could use any papers or any kit. What I've done is I've printed three of the same pattern on 200 GSM cardstock and I've printed the reverse with an alternative pattern. I've also printed six of our basic envelopes. I think this is template number five. Again, a pattern that I've printed one side one way and one side another way. But to start this project, I need to cut out these envelopes. Once you've cut the envelope template out, you'll see that there are some very fine dots along four sides and what you need to do then is just score along those dots and fold everything now you have your basic envelope i'm going to bone fold it along all those marks to make everything lie a bit better before i glue this together i'm going to go around the edges with my vintage sepia you probably use Vintage Photo, that's my VersaFine Vintage Sepia. And when I say go round all the edges, I do mean all the score lines as well, so that everything, both sides, has been edged. Once that's done, we're going to put it together as an envelope. We're going to seal up all the sides. So it's these are your hinges that are gonna give you some depth. And with this bit, you don't want to glue it all down just go round that edge make sure that's all down this very top edge so that last fold we're going to cut a very very thin amount off the envelope we're opening it up again as a big pocket to do that with all the envelopes that you have once all the envelopes have been made up and had the tops slit open you need to make a cover for the journal so it only just covers the envelopes however you want it so that it can fold over so for example if we were to line an envelope up on here and then flip it over there you're looking at scoring somewhere along here to make sure that you have that turn i also want to measure how wide the spine needs to be and where the spine needs to be ease that over and then the same is going to happen at this front area we're going to once we've got that all in very gently bring that up because it's card don't want it tearing manipulate it slowly once you've done that you can then go in with a bone folder and improve those creases what i'm going to do is try shaping it i'm going to take that crease point and go in to give it an envelope style shape you can also add decoration to that cover using the Japanese papers by measuring our panels and attaching parts of this paper to that panel but leaving a small area that frames it. I've cut the panel pieces to fit but before we put them onto the cover I'm going to add some magnets to the fold over bit. I've got these very small disc magnets from Amazon and I want three. To put the magnets on, I'm going to use a double-sided tape and put it on top of the magnet. Secure it down and lift the backing up. Place the first magnet roughly halfway. With the next magnet, we're going to place one roughly in alignment and at the top and the final magnet at the bottom. Now what we will do is add a magnet to the top of each magnet that we've put down and again we're going to add the double-sided tape once the double-sided tape has had the protective part removed 
we are simply going to turn that over and put it against the other part of the wallet rub it and hopefully what will happen is we will transfer one set of magnets to one side and the other set of magnets to the other like that we can take our covers that have been cut to fit and actually cover up the magnets the covers on and you can see that magnet work we're going to add the envelopes I'm going to add them so the split side faces outwards we'll add them onto that front cover with a small border you can do that just using some glue and you're going to take the bone folder and try to make sure it's all fully down all you're going to do is add the next envelope to the bottom one and start to layer it up that way once all the envelopes have been glued to the front we're going to put glue on the back one and bring that cover over and seal it all down now that's all done you have a wallet journal and the way we're going to use the wallet journal is you could either put booklets in there or you could put journal cards in there these have been printed on 200 gsm i'm going to cut them so that I create six cards that will fit inside the wallet that we've made. We're going to do some very, very simple journal cards for the wallet to make the project really quick. I've taken the ephemera from the Geisha kit and cut that up. And I've also got from our free printable some frames, which I will probably use to frame the picture. I may not, of course, if it cuts off the bird too much you do it artistically and do it so that the frame actually is smaller do it like that I've also got some the same paper and made some file tab holders to get it in and out the wallet easily which I'll be adding here's the six journal cards that have been made to go in the wallet they're very very simple but it gives you plenty of space to write on and they all look I think quite beautiful all we have to do is put them in the wallet that's everything in just close it and that makes such a neat little journal i hope you enjoyed that tutorial and i will see you very very soon bye